What's up, Sushi Squad? We back in some more Trove. Sorry this video is so late, gamers, but I slept in, and honestly, I am not in the habit of Caruxian. I, I'm used to Luxian was here. That means that next Friday, nothing is happening. So, yeah, uh, I'm still gonna rush this video out to you guys today, though. I, I only got up like a couple hours ago. I'm trying to. My schedule is like all messed up. But, anyways, uh, I'm also. You know, I took a couple days off. That's why there wasn't any videos. And I mean, that's whatever. It's January. So, hey, but I'm back now and I'm going to end up probably doing some streams after this. Uh, anyways, if you're new to Trove, you can use that sign up link down in the description. And then anything you end up buying out of the cash shop, I'll make a percentage of it, which is an awesome time to do that just because they got a lot of sales going on. I can't see most of them just because I already have a lot of the packs that are on sale, but uh, they kind of have a bit of a write-up of it. So anyways, uh, if it's your first time seeing Caruxian, you're going to notice Pizza right here. He will end up having a quest line for you uh, that basically tells you to go and see him. But it's kind of... It's weird because you got to end up going down here. And instead of Luxian, whoop, we've got Caruxian down here, which is... I mean, he's a cool shop. He's just very anticlimactic considering that this spot was here for like the longest time. But... Uh huh. So the one thing about Caruxian that kind of sucks, this apparently is on purpose, is uh, you can only buy 10 items total from him per visit. So you can buy any of the items, but of course I'm just going to end up buying all the dragon fragments until we end up having his full dragon, which we're getting close to that. How many do we got now? 40. I think it's only 50. I'll double check. Uh, but you can see his inventory is actually pretty good just because you could get empowered gem boxes of any type You can get some lustrous gem boxes. These are way too expensive considering what they give But honestly speaking the game itself considers lustrous gem boxes to be more valuable than they are The problem is that lustrous gem boxes give you like one or two gem augmentation items And you need a lot of them to augment your gems to fully max out. So it's just kind of fruitless uh, to end up having these. I mean, I guess that's just the way that Trove is. They just, there's no way to end up leveling up your gems efficiently and fast. Even pay to win, I think they took a lot of those methods out. But anyways, uh, you can get double experience potions, so that's nice. And then Balm Brilliance, which, again, the fact that you can only buy 10 items from this idiot, you can either get Illustrious Gem Box, which gives you gem augmentation items, or you can buy Balm Brilliance. Which is an item used to craft gem augmentation items. Like, okay, I mean, I guess technically it's still cheaper on the Chaos Core factor, but a lot of us already have plenty of Chaos Cores now that Chaos just just drop out in the world. Uh, but my point is, I would be so much more inclined to buy a lot of items out of this guy if you could just buy everything, not just 10 items. And I think that that would actually be really, really good for the Trove economy as well, because it means that we would be spending all of our thousands of Chaos Cores, and thus Chaos Chests would become more valuable, and maybe it would end up even promoting uh, them to end up getting some Chaos Chest sales. But honestly speaking, I don't know any human being alive that has ever bought any Chaos Chests out of the store just because there's just too many things in them but anyways that's going to end up being Caruxian so let's go take a look at his crafting components uh, for the full-on dragon because I think it's 50 fragments right there should really be one of these down there uh, so fragment dragon Caruxian right here yeah it's 50 gamers oh my god so that means not next week but the week after we'll finally be able to get the official Caruxian uh, dragon in the game which that's gonna be pretty dope um as it stands right now we do actually have a mod uh, I'll try and show you guys there's a mod for Luxian that a buddy of mine uh, ended up converting basically uh, Caruxian the dragon and its uh, video effects and fireballs and stuff all of that is in the game's code right now uh, and so all you have to do is you just extract that and then just apply it onto another character model and that's where we're going to end up changing uh, Luxian over I think I have to re-log for this but maybe I can maybe I can just swap worlds and it'll work okay because uh, sometimes that's what mods do sometimes you just gotta swap the world and that's all there is to it now the one thing I will say about the full Caruxian dragon Okay, no, I got to relog. Sorry, one sec. The one thing I got to say about this guy is that I really, really hope that there is a bit more to it. Because uh, one thing that can end up happening with a lot of these uh, models and stuff in game that are already there is uh, 
players might not have access to all of the file types, so this is more than likely just going to end up being the complete dragon. Very lackluster, no effects or anything like that, and the reason why is because Corruxian originally... Uh, it's kind of weird that they recycled him into being like an evil Luxian merchant because basically this guy was way back like years ago going to end up being a dragon that you would get fragments out of the chaos chest they just ended up kind of recycling it but my point is that's why it seems so lackluster compared to all of the other recent dragons because people have gotten a lot better at making dragons and the video effects especially i mean i kind of like it just because it takes me back like i got a little bit of nostalgia for this dragon not gonna lie just because this kind of reminds me of the Azulian dragon when it first got added and stuff like that. And it's just very simplistic. And that's kind of something that I enjoy uh, in these mounts. That said, am I going to actually rock Corruxian when he's fully complete? Probably not for more than like one or two streams or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, my point is that sometimes the video effects of these models is not accessible to players in the game files. So I really, really hope that we get surprised and not just let down by it being this plane uh, because otherwise this is going to end up being the fireballs you can see that there is no fireball shot from Corruxian, which makes me suspect to think like like the projectile itself doesn't come out of his mouth uh, which makes me think that we are going to end up having a unique fire trail for it uh we just can't get it in the mod files or something uh, and then the explosion itself uh is very very lackluster i've talked about this in all my corexian videos where it, it kind of is like a worse vortex dragon so you can see it kind of does this little swirl from the candy barbs uh, you know candy barb ability when he gets his classroom obviously so this one, on the other hand, is way cooler already. This is already a dragon that's fully in the game, and you can see the video effects are a lot better. Not only does it kind of look like a black hole, but you can see it's using the exact same effect, uh, which is a reskin of the Candy Barb's uh, classroom ability. It's just, you know, black and purple and whatever. Uh, but the thing is, this one has two layers going, whereas Corexian doesn't. And that's that's something, again, that I'm hoping feels lackluster just because we have a modded file. And hopefully the full version is going to be better. Anyways, I don't mean to drag this video out. I, I just feel like these explanations need to be said each time so that hopefully the devs listen and end up actually making it a little bit more substantial because Corexian especially... With how difficult it is to get just because of how time gated it is it really needs to be something more substantial at least that's my opinion but anyways thanks for watching gamers smash like sub for more buy the merch you want to support the channel and have yourselves a fantastic day sign on and stay epic everybody